Uh, ladies and gentlemen, look in the winner's enclosure now from wherever you're watching on television, streaming around the world, or whatever, because these are the finalists in a Highness Sheikha Fadab and Bid Boomerang Apprentice Jockeys World Championship. They've come literally from all over the world. That's the photo they will take with them. And they're in the winner's enclosure. And I wonder which one of these young jockeys will make it to the winner's enclosure this time. Number four, Mancha does not run. And that means we have 13 apprentice jockeys. That means we have 11 male and two female. And I wonder if the girls can beat the guys. So that's the photo. There goes the bell. Jockeys, good luck and get mounted. This race is over 2,200 meters, 11 furlongs, a mile and three furlongs. Number one, Ganim, ridden by Kam Chon Wong, representing Malaysia. Number two is Ibn Batuta Munlo, ridden by Amuda Sola, representing Mauritius. Number three, Karim Wosan, ridden by Reagan Bayliss, representing Australia. Number five is Takamul, ridden by Yuji Nakai, representing Japan. Number six, theoretically, written by Gianluca Sanna, representing Italy. Number seven, Forge Hill Cezanne, written by Emma Sayer, Great Britain. Number eight, La Hack, written by Ryan Munger from South Africa. Number nine is Najma Alamarat, written by Gianni Siafa, representing France. Number 10 is AF Al Almar, ridden by Ahmed Al Sabusi, United Arab Emirates. Number 11 is Dick Dagan, ridden by Jamie Bautista for Spain. And it would be incredible if he could win because his sister is riding in the ladies' race. Number 12 is Merzal, ridden by Natalie Turner, representing the United States of America. Number 13, Munzard, ridden by Vendetta Kaplan from Turkey. And number 14, Venom, ridden by Tommaso Scardino, representing Germany. 11 ladies, two gentlemen. Which of the 13 is going to become world champion 2014? The bell has been rung. The jockeys are about to get mounted. This is Her Highness Sheikha Fatima Bint Mubarak, Apprentice Jockeys World Championship. JB. Batusta takes the ride. Distinguishing white cap for Dig Dag. The last one to go in, ready to run. They're off, racing away. 2,200 meters in front of them. Forge Hill Cezanne was the last to gather stride. Theoretically, in the cheap pieces, and Tackham will likewise well to the forward. Kareem Warsan edging across from wider out, and with a circuit to travel, Kareem Warsan is the lead, at least by just over a length. They had a theoretically in second. Takamul is back in third, and they're being followed by Dig Dagon and Venom, who race together. La Hark is against the rail next in the field in the black cap. Garlic quite wide, covering extra ground as they run into the turn. Najim Al Emirat is next in the field as they run around the bend. They're followed then by Munze, Fortiel Cezanne down against the rail. Ibn Matuda Monlau towards the back of the field in company with uh, Mirzal, and the back marker is AF Al Almal. Down the back straight they go, 1,600 metres left to travel. Kareem Warsan is the leader, leads by a neat length. Takamul is second, theoretically down on the rail in third. Stable companions Deke, Dagon and Venom race together in a dispute of fourth. And they're being followed then towards the inside by Najib al Emirat. They're being followed out wide of those by Lahak as they go towards the midpoint down the back straight. Towards the inside next in the field is Forgio Cezanne. Their length or so clear of the others headed by Munze to break a three and next them back to find Ibn Matuda Monlau. 
for the back then to find Merzal and Al Almar is the back marker as they pass the halfway point. Continuing their journey down the back straight, so the 1,000 metres left to travel. Kareem Warsan is still a narrow leader with Takamal sitting shotgun on the outside in second place. Najim Al Emirat in the red cap is making headway around the outside to go into third. That's being followed on the inside by Theoretically. Behind those then is Venom and Dig Dagon who continue to race together as the tempo really begins to lift. Fortius Lezan is further back in the field and they're being followed then by AF Al Lamar. So they're on the turn back towards the home straight. It is still Kareem. Warsan with Najim Al Emirat around the outside now about to draw level. They're being followed in third place by Takamul as they prepare to make the turn back towards the home straight. Najim Al Emirat on the outside of Kareem Warsan. They were the front pair to straighten on the run down to the judge. They're still about three lengths clear of the others who are headed now by Fortiel Cezanne. Then towards the inside is Dick Dagon. They make the run down towards the final 200 metres and Najim Al Emirat has skipped the field, has gone two or three lengths clear down the centre. Munzaid, his stable companion, gives chase in company with one off the red, also running on Fortiel Cezanne. They have 100 metres left to go. Najim Al Emirat in front getting a bit tired. Munzaid, his stable companion, is lunging late and might have got there. Munzaid on the outside of Najim Al Emirat. It goes to the judge for between that pair, very, very close. Fortio Cezanne is third. They were followed over the line next to the field by Galeb. Further back to find Venom and uh, Dick Dagon. And we did have a fall further back in the field. The field trail all the way back through to La Hague, who was the last one to clock in. Munzaid, Ernst Hotel, as uh, one, the Turkish rider, that in Kaplan, getting up to beat stable companion Najim Al Emirat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new world champion, and this one has come all the way from Turkey. Vadetin Kaplan, 20 years of age, has come over from Turkey and has got up on number 13, Munzaid. This is a world champion. Come on, check this out. It's a 1-2 as well for the red and white spots of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan and the winner from Turkey, Vendetta Kaplan. Congratulations! What a ride! Come around, gather around the winner. This is a new world champion. Number one. Number one in the world. And what a way to do it. Getting up on the line. It's a one-two for His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. It's also a one-two as well for trainer Ernst Hotel. There he is. There's the trainer. There's Lara Sawaya. And this is what it's about. The series that we've had around the world. And now this young man, 20 years of age. What a result for Turkey. That is absolutely outstanding. Ernst Hotel is there as well. That was fantastic. Brilliant. Absolute. Ernst, what was that like watching that? Nice, very nice. What can I say? <laughs> well, he gave it a ride and a half, didn't he? Yeah, no, they all rode well. You know, the, the first three rode well, and I uh, couldn't be happier. Well, we've got to get a reaction from the jockey. Oh, yeah. yeah, do not lose that, whatever you do. One more photograph, and this guy is good. Vadeta Kaplan from Turkey. He's kissing the horse. He can't talk English very well, but Vandetta, tell us. What's it like to be world champion? Yes. yes. <laughs>
Well done. Well done. He's, He's kissing, kissing everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone from, from Turkey, Turkey, from Istanbul, from Istanbul is, is over the moon. moon. Guys, Guys, this, this guy, guy is incredible, isn't he? He's incredible. He's incredible. What, a what a ride. What a ride. And what a, what, a ride. what a place to do it as well. Yeah, he's our top apprentice and he's a wonderful rider. We're so proud of him tonight. Tell us about the apprentice school in Turkey. You've really, You've really produced, produced something, something special, special here. here. We have, yes. yes he's, he's been working, working hard at this. And he, 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 he rode in Shanti and he rode a lovely race in Shanti. And he's rode a better race tonight. And we're very, very proud of him. Tell us about racing in Turkey. When you get big victories like this, it can only be good for the racing in Istanbul. Istanbul. Oh, of oh, course. This will this will make headline news in Istanbul. There's no doubt. Right around, right around Turkey, Turkey, this will make headline news. news. It's, it's incredible. Well, Chris, well done. Thanks, Thanks for, joining for joining us, us. And, and congratulations. congratulations. So, that's so that's the result. The result. We, have we have a new, new Turkish, Turkish world champion. champion. Very, Very soon, soon to be coming, coming out for the presentation. For the presentation. Stay, Stay with us. With us. <laughs> and Detin Kaplan. And now the presentation to His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Salim Al Katebi, racing manager as well. And what a result for the man, Ernst. Come back here, Ernst Ortel. Come on, Ernst, we need you, because Ernst Ortel. Not only does he settle the winner, he settles the second as well. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, champion trainer, Ernst Ortel. Here he comes. Well done, big fella. Here he is. And this is incredible because it was only four months ago that the winning trainer lost his leg and now he walks up those steps and a very, very proud man indeed. Absolutely outstanding. That's why his horses show the strength and courage that he's got as well. It's been a superb series and this young man, he doesn't speak English, but we heard from the British instructor at the school and he's going to come round now and, and in a few moments' time, we will have the opening ceremony. Stay with us. Now we come to the men who've ridden in The Apprentice, led in by the United Arab Emirates, Ahmed Al Sabusi. From France, Gianafa Safa. From Australia, Reagan Bayliss. For Germany, Thomas Goes Gardino. For Great Britain, Emma Sayer. For Italy, Gianluca Sanna. From Japan, Yuji Nakai. From Mauritius, Amuth Sula. From Malaysia, Kam Jong Wong. From Oman, Yaha Al Hamdani. From Spain, Jaime Gelabert Bautista. And from South Africa, Rahan Monga. From Turkey, the new world champion, Vadetta Kaplan. And from the United States of America, Natalie Turner. One of those could be a future champion. But well done to the man from Turkey, who is now world champion. Well done, big fella. And also the other apprentices who rode but didn't quite make it to the final. I wonder one day, could they become the champion of the world? They've had an experience they'll never, ever forget. And they will take their thoughts home and tell everyone all about it.